So here we have a customer pump that came back to us uh, and it's actually seized from process. Uh, the way that happens is they shut down their pump without cleaning it properly. Uh, so what we're gonna show you here is the proper way to unstick the pump uh, without damaging it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and cap off your exhaust. Uh, then we're gonna remove the motor fan cover. And the reason we're doing this is so we can get at the motor fan so we can manipulate it by hand. Um, this just helps prevent damage and it's a little bit gentler on the pump. So next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna start taking uh, our solvent, which is uh, isopropyl alcohol, and we're gonna fill it, the inlet up until it's completely level, allow it to bubble down, and then continue to fill until the pump stops taking any more solvent. So once you've completely filled your uh, pump with solvent, you're gonna wanna wait at least an hour before you go ahead and begin to attempt to manipulate it. Uh, sometimes, depending on the severity of the seizure, it may require uh, multiple hours or multiple cycles of solvent in order to actually get it to free up. So we allowed this pump to sit for about an hour uh, and went ahead and started to gently manipulate the motor fans. Uh, you have to be very, very careful when manipulating the motor fan. If you break any of the fins off, you will have to replace it. Um, so once you get it freed up and this pump is now free spinning, you're going to go ahead and move over to the exhaust, remove the exhaust cap, and we'll start to drain the solvent out of the pump. After most of your solvent has been drained, you can get the rest out by manipulating the motor fan, rotating it clockwise to push the remaining solvent out of the pump. And if your solvent is coming out very dirty, we recommend running additional cleaning cycles until the solvent comes out nearly clean. So we've allowed our pump to fully drain. Uh, lastly, we're going to replace our motor fan shroud. Uh, it's very important to replace your motor fan shroud as it is an air-cooled motor and it runs the risk of burning up if you do not replace your motor fan shroud. That concludes our video on how to free up a dry screw pump with process seizure. Uh, we recommend doing an in-service cleaning cycle after this pump does go back into service, uh, which we're going to go over in the next video.